built this bridge. We built this bridge using trigonometry. Built this bridge. We built this bridge, but we love Paddy. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Now, as you know, a brand new update came out. So if we go into worlds, we have these two bonus worlds here. Last time I did 25% of the Glittering Gorge. And you can see here, they're all under budget and unbreaking. However, when I completed them, the game wasn't released to the public. So we didn't get to see in the gallery. So we're going to have a quick look first at firstly my solution, which was 18,846. We can see how it works. The car plops off, lands on the springy truss bridge. The car then drives to this where it turns around and nearly falls down, but doesn't quite. And then it just drives to the upside down flag at the end. We're now only in the top 20%. I feel like I was actually number one on the leaderboard when I did these last time. So it shows how much easier it is to become first if you're the only person completing it. Anyway, in the gallery, sorted by budget, this is the cheapest one. Oh, look. Wait, what? Why did they, they spring cannon down to there? So if we watch that again, look. Boosh. So he lands over that. I assume so you can reduce the number of springs you need because otherwise, yeah, because there's no bridge up the top anymore. And if it landed straight down there. Oh, no, you got to get you got to get the star in the middle, haven't you? Interesting. Then this one is basically the same thing, but without a spring cannon. Yeah, it's basically it's, it's just my bridge, really. So mine could have cost 11 grand if I wanted to. Right, right. Anyway, we'll go to the last page because the last page is always the best page. And we'll see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These levels have been out for like 48 hours and we've already... <laughs> We've already done that. I shouldn't encourage this sort of behavior. Is there actually... Oh, oh I don't like that it's moving. <laughs> I don't like that it's moving, but it makes me laugh. I'm such a child. Uh, but we have this guy. So someone did it using pretty much all springs. Lots of movement going on there. Very expensive though. Uh, just shy of a very nice max dress. And then this one where... <laughs> I feel like someone just got really fed up of it breaking and just covered it in ropes. Anyway, the next level was called Turnaround. Uh, this is how mine works. So the car did that. We did like a loop around there. And then we had to get the flag, which was down there. Unfortunately, we did drown at the end. Now, I'm still in the top 11%. I'm 60th in the world. I'll still take that. The cheapest solution was... Th what is that? What? So, oh, oh, look. Did you see that? So it landed like on a spring there. So it didn't break. But then a bit of road landed on its head. Then we have the most patience witnessed by anyone in the world ever. Like, look at the sea in the background. That must have taken so long. And then somehow it slides and just about falls off the edge to the flag. Yeah, by the way, look at this. Look how smooth that jump is. Oh, it's perfect. Anyway, the most expensive. Expensive solutions are pretty much just using all steel, I think. Although we have had some efficient engineering going on. Oh, there's a flap. Anyway, then we had this flip and slide one, which honestly took me so long. I feel like I could have got this cheaper if I'd like fiddled with this a bit because I used a lot of roads to get our car to go upside down. But it needed to go upside down so that it slides down there. Um, then it lands down here, heads up there to the flag, which is upside down. Oh, and again, top 11%. I feel like 11% of the community were really determined to beat my score. But yeah, the cheapest one is this, which... Oh, look, so they... Oh, they used, ooh, they used really minimal road to flip over there. I feel like my bottom bit would be way cheaper. How much is that? 13 grand. And my, mine was 20 grand. Blimey now. <laughs> yeah, we got Schmodgefeld here. So you can see to get that to flip. It's all, yeah, it's all about making the flippy over bit really cheap, I think. Um, everyone's done it like different ways though. That one uses just two roads. Oh, and we got a few falls until it finally works. But yes, onto the last page. What is that? <laughs> Oh, I literally, I literally thought that was a face. That's, that's not a face, is it? Yeah, uh, this, what? There's nothing there. Why is that one so expensive? Oh, whoa. <laughs> he just got hit by a meteor. <laughs> The car just got hit by a meteor. Did that actually that actually complete the level? I'm not sure. Okay, so watch that again. I think when you like cover loads and loads of pieces, like when you stack them like hundreds and hundreds of pieces, they like glow for some reason in this game. I think that's what happened there. Uh, we got this one, which makes me feel better about my ramp. Look how many pieces were used for that. And then this one, which it flips forwards. <laughs> Why did it flip forwards? <laughs> that's so unnecessary. 
<laughs> Woozy, you're doing your own thing. Right, and then we have on a tit. I mean, no, there's an L in that. Ignore that. I mean, to be fair, I can sort of see what my brain was doing there, why it went to that shape. So this one, I did actually spend time trying to get this one cheap. So it'll be interesting to see where I place now. It was all about building a very good structure um, and then getting the monster truck over without it flipping. Oh, yes, we're still in the top 4%. We're 15th in the the world. Oh, look, Reed Captain beat me by seven quid. Hang on, I can't be having that. I can't be having that. Where can I save seven quid? Yes, we beat him. We're now 14th. Although, if I can save another 30 quid or 38 quid, I'll be heading for the top 10. So, we'll just move this in a little bit. We'll move that down there. We'll then shorten this piece of road. Try and make this end a bit cheaper. And then lower some of these very slightly. And then suddenly, as we watch this, a lot of the bridge goes red. We're 19,646 quid, top 3%. We're 10th we're in the world. Uh, so let's look in the gallery and see how I could have done it way cheaper. So this is the cheapest solution by Zen. So I guess just pretty similar. I think they probably use less road for their ramp at the end, but are all pretty similar. But then this was the most expensive solution, which doesn't actually look... I mean, I'm not really sure where the budget went. I assume there's like, there's tension under there. So a lot of rope. Uh, this one, you can very much see where the budget went. <laughs> it had a drawbridge. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway, it's time to do some bridge building ourselves now because we're on to B105 last resort. Oh, I'll tell you what, I should do Papa Roach. This is my last bridge trust. Yeah, that could be one for the future. Anyway, so this one we have hydraulics. So the truck and the car goes. So truck on the right, you've got to end up down there. Taxi on the left. Oh, you've got to end up up the top. These are stop symbols. So they're going to stop there. So then there's a hydraulic phase. And then the camper van goes and A2.1. So camper van's got to go to the middle and then a 2.1 oh man okay so yeah we've we've got we got we got a hydraulic level essentially uh, we've only got eight roads as well so i guess to start so i guess we fill in our four roads like that copy this over to that side but that one wants to be rotated it starts like that and then essentially i think all i've got to do is make some sort of hydraulic system so that i can like rotate these to go like to there and then down to there yeah i do have four hydraulics so we've got that going for us at least but looking at this we've only got we've only got one anchor point so we can't just build like a structure off that because uh, that will rotate and fall over so first things first i know i'm gonna need nodes at like all of these locations and then probably i'm gonna need like nodes in the middle somewhere so what's that 7.29 meters long so if i just go 7.29 so the node we should need a node there so essentially if i just build up and then up like that. I probably want to come down and use this rock to rest against. And then I'll just truss up to the top. Get rid of that rope. And then just joint all of those. And if I just copy this to the other side. Slightly tweak that. Is that actually... Is that touching? I don't think that's touching. Oh, that's annoying. Right, let's just steal that piece so that's longer. Okay, so that's definitely touching now. So I feel like that's sort of the basis of this. We then just need to turn these into bridges by just trussing the top of them. So we end up with that on there. This side, we go from the road to a truss bridge like that. And then for now, I guess, shall we just check that this works? So yeah, strong enough to take both of those. So they stop in the middle and then we need to... Well, I think all we need to do this time is put a hydraulic in to bring that to the top. So I'm thinking hydraulic from under there up to oh, i don't know actually maybe hydraulic on this side would be better so if we like dangle a rope down to there and then we hydraulic upwards and then we have this hydraulic controller so basically this first phase b when the hydraulics go i don't want that to unlock so if i click that it won't unlock i do want that hydraulic to go so that's yellow so that should be fine so now these guys get to there as soon as they both hit that that triggers the next phase which is just this hydraulic moving that goes up to there and locks in so then the taxi goes and the camper van goes. Camp van goes all the way across. Yep. Okay, so then the final phase. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Balls. I forgot there's a stop in the middle. Okay, so we do want that to disconnect so we can turn that back on and then we just need a hydraulic, which will probably do a similar thing. Just dangle a rope hydraulic up to there. So you just want this one to be lowered to that midpoint. So that's, yep, locked in. Okay, so now we're, now we're sorted, sort of. So we've got that. So the next phase is not to do with those because we need to bring that one to the middle, the left one down to the bottom. Uh, and annoyingly, you can only use like a hydraulic once. You can't like do another phase where it goes like by a different amount. Oh, so how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? <laughs> I feel like what I could 
do. Let's just copy that and imagine it has gone down to that point. I'm just going to delete all of these nodes except for this one here. We know that point there is where that's going to end up. So what we could do is hydraulic from there to there. Make that a joint. Make up there a joint. So when this moves down, they should all... Oh no, the hydraulic went... Just turn off that hydraulic. So when these come down, they should both lock in. There we go. So then if I make that a joint, become a joint. There we go. And then I've put the hydraulic on a different number, which means in the hydraulic controller, first phase, we don't want that to disconnect. Second phase, we do. And we don't want that hydraulic to go. So then second phase, we want that to stay locked right? The downside is as you add split joints, you actually double the weight of the node. So in terms of the bridge moving, it's taking a lot more strength balls. So what I might need to do is bring that down to make it stronger. And then I'm going to have to tweak that so it ends up at the same place. But after lots of tweaking, it's in the right place. So then the next phase is... Oh no, why did you... Why did you guys disconnect? I'm guessing, do I say stay connected phase two? Okay, so they connect and then those cars go. That's fine. Assuming I've set it up right, that should extend. Oh, balls. <laughs> so what I was expecting to happen is this extend and to lower that down. It does extend, but it pushes everything up. I don't get what's holding that bridge up. Oh, Anyway, we're going to have to do a different solution then. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of all these joints then. And then the other way I can do two phases is use all my four hydraulics like down here. So basically, if we do like one... I don't know, one to there and then one up to there. Actually, we can, pro we can probably get it to work in here. Then we just say first phase, only one of you goes. So assuming I can tweak this top one to go to the right spot. That's a little bit too late. So basically, this first phase is all done with the top hydraulic. Bottom one's doing nothing. So that locks in there. And then the second phase, I want to say top hydraulic don't go. But then the second one can. So we just got to tweak that so it ends up in the right place, which involves just sliding that a little bit. All right. So this side now works. We've just got to repeat over here. So delete that. Shove two ropes down. Put hydraulics between them. And then these ones need to be expand ones. And we have the bottom one go and then the top one go. And I'll tell you what, that actually uses very efficient principles. That, oh, no, I just realized the taxi's up the top. The taxi's up the top. So hydraulic controller, I actually want both of them to go. Oh, this is going to be, it's going to be awkward. So if both those hydraulics move at once, will it get to the top? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not far off. Tweak that probably. I mean, the expansion percent will probably be 42 because that is the answer to everything, as we all know. Oh, and it actually was. It actually was. Okay, so hopefully when this next phase triggers, that should go to the middle. So then they can go either side. Oh my goodness, I did a hydraulic level. Let's never do that again. Where do we rank though? Top eight. Top 18%. That ain't bad. Now, I'm watching this with the stress on. I could I could make a lot of savings. I'm not going to lie. So I think I will. I think if I swap that with wood, it doesn't quite reach, does it? So I do need to do a muscle. That is really annoying. But that is slightly cheaper. We can then just bring these way in. Then I can probably swap these ropes with wood as well. Because wood is cheaper than rope. Then I can probably make these trusses a little bit smaller as well. Particularly at those ends. So without spending hours tweaking that works 20,752 we are in the top 15 percent so let's head into the gallery so the cheapest solution oh it actually does the exact how is that cheaper than mine oh they don't have a structure in the middle. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be a lot cheaper. If you can actually get a bridge strong enough to hold itself, that makes a lot of sense. This guy, they did a bit of both from the looks of it. I guess this is like essentially what I did, but like way more efficient. They've got like locking nodes at the bottom, but not on the upper levels. Decent. Oh, and this one is literally mine, but like the super, super efficient way of doing it. I mean, to be fair, none of these are actually that much cheaper than mine. So pat on the back for Matt. Let's head to page four, my favorite page. Page. Ah, here we go. <laughs> so this is the first level I told you guys to um do some cool stuff. So we got some things to view. What is that? We've got like a huge, a curved, it's, I guess it's like a crane, you could call it. Now this one we got similar, but way less curve. So nice. Uh, this... <laughs> What are they? Have you tried to sneak them in? Sneaks, man. Now uh, we got this one, which... What? There's so much hydro... What is that? What the... What? <laughs> what just happened? I think he just... He just skipped like an entire stage. <laughs> so let's watch that again. So... He these hydraulics, they lift the taxi up. They're like, nah, you're not, you're not using my bridge. You're going over straight away. 
Oh, decent. Yeah, this one has some propaganda hanging from up there. I love to see that. Sub to RCE. We've got I know unnecessary. Oh, this is the same one that we just saw, but there's also a knob involved. Nice. <laughs> this one says wood steel. What's going on? Hang on. What's going on here? There's no there's no hydraulic. There's no hydraulics. This is all done with like counterweights. Oh, that's incredible. I guess because there's a hydraulic controller, you can like tell split joints to drop different weights and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, then we have this one. <laughs> What is that? Is that like a witch? Or is that meant to be me with a pointy hard hat? Um, I, know, I know what that is in the middle, though. I'm just going to see. Actually, what is that using? What part of me or that person is that using? I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, finally, we have this one, which obviously um, just, just efficient engineering going on there. Yeah, and then what is... What is that counterweight doing? Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's using, it's using the, the dynamics to ensure that, like, this doesn't fall over. You know, like, really, really super tall buildings? They have, like, a counterweight up the top. But that counterweight doesn't stay there. It sort of moves to counteract the sway of the, like, huge structure. Yeah, that's that's what that is. It also says RCE down there. Uh, and then finally, we have, hi, RCE. Well, hello, DMX. Loads of numbers. All right, so let's move on to the next level. Pushback. Uh, so looking at this, everyone goes at the same time. Okay, so so this guy has to get all the way over to there. That's fine. We have to avoid the boat in doing so. That's also fine. And then down here, you've got to get to that star. Wait, but then you've got to get back to the... Fl Wait, what? But that's not... That's just a star. You usually have like a, a turn around -y thing. Oh, I've just realized we have a blade on the front. So, oh, that's called pushback. Okay, so if we go from there to there, we'll try and curve that a little bit. We'll then... Push. Fill that with road. And then we'll fill a line up to there with road. And then presumably I just have to I just have to build this, right? So let's truss this up. So we got this, which seems to be holding. So you go to there. Oh, it keeps driving. Okay, so it does stop because it goes up there. It adds quite a lot of force to that. What if we were to just reinforce road that middle piece? Hang on, let's turn on the stress as well and see what happens. So oh, that's quite that's quite under stress, this. So if we just reinforce all of these roads, is that gonna be strong enough so it comes down gives that a push so then that's going to get pushed into the flag oh but then we're gonna have to get up that side so i imagine this is going to need reinforcing is it oh it's holding it's okay it's not holding all right let's watch the stress on this so oh man it's we can try and make these trusses bigger but i'm not entirely sure a truss like this will do i mean it will i'm sure there's people that have done it in a truss like this but for now i might just have to replace some of these with steel yeah i tell you what let's steal that piece oh and then oh we've made it we've made it okay so as long as you get to the flag i think we're done Sweet. Oh, look where we came. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I feel like there's not even any point in trimming this one down. Let's just have a look in the gallery at how the cheapest solution did this. Uh, that one is going to use a glitch, isn't it? Wait, is it? Why is it? Oh, <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that user glitch, fair enough. The first sort of legit one does that. So we've got some like proper rope bridges going on. Fair play, that is, that's pretty decent, that. Yeah, so generally people realize it's a lot cheaper to dangle the bridge from these from these anchor points on top of this wooden thing. I completely ignored those for some reason. Because look, I could have... That's pretty much my truss, but they're just hanging it from under the... That's way cheaper than mine. Yeah, because it means you can use your normal road rather than the reinforced ones. Okay, decent, decent. We'll go to the last page, my favorite page. We'll see some RCE propaganda as well as some efficient bridge building. Oh my god, look at that arch. <laughs> what is that doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even there for efficient reasons, I don't think. It's just... That's architecture. Hang on, that's architecture. Juicy chop chop. Shame. 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 Uh, we've got this one with a buoyant counterweight there. It's got a wet tip, but that really helps with the dynamic pressures that can force a bridge. Yeah, definitely not there for architectural reasons, that. Uh, this one looks pretty normal. It's 60 grand and... Oh, hello. Ow, that hurt. Oh, there's another one. Hello, mate. Ow. Uh, this one. What is that contraption? No way. You kept it on top. <laughs> Basically, this in the middle is sort of like, so he pushes it from the top to push him along the bottom. That's so cool. <laughs> so unnecessary. I love it. Uh, we have this one. I'm dumb. Uh, why? What have you done? Oh, look. Is that the same thing? That's a, no, that's not dumb. That's actually really clever because you did it way cheaper than that other guy did. So fair play. <laughs> yeah, we got more efficient designs. Some doubly efficient designs. <laughs> I don't I don't like the detail on some of these. Uh, this one, which 
I can see the efficient supports under there. I don't understand. What did that say at the start? I, I, I don't know what that says. I'm sure the editor can like stop it for you and you can read it, but I can't read it. I'm going to assume it said something nice like Paddy is the best dog or something. What is, what is that? What is going on? What's all that doing? I'm sorry. Architecture is taking over the gallery a bit. I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, look, it's another way. It's another way of dragging. So this one actually drags it back. He's made like a like a cage for the top truck. And then it's connected to the bottom one, which is also in a cage uh, by a rope. So it drags it along. Oh, it seems like quite a few people have done the like top bridge, bottom bridge thing. But yeah, fair play. Some good engineering. Anyway, we're going on to the next level. Make waves. Wait, wait, wait. As in the sea. What is going on down there? So we got some like underwater. Okay, so they they move up and down, I guess. Oh, have they got are they joints I can connect to? Are we gonna make a wavy bridge? So yeah, I think we need to make a flexible bridge. So yeah, if we watch this move around, you can see the top thing is tilting. I mean, for now, I guess I could try just going straight up and see what it actually does. If we just have a few of those. So if we did have a truss just connected to that, that's oh, that's gonna fall over. Yeah, that's gonna fall over. Hang on. Okay, so if I do that, that won't fall over. So we can see how this works. So it's going that way. I mean, there's actually potential. We could we could make this. So if I were to just copy all this to the other side, I mean, we're over budget, obviously. But uh, let's just see what happens in terms of the movement. Is there any chance we will, like, line up in the middle? I feel like it's sort of slim to none. There's probably a different way of doing this. Uh, so if I wanted no movement, this is what's moving. I think I'd need to make a node, like, over this side. Yeah, because I think let's just we go, like, right on that joint and like connect that together i think if we watch this yeah so that's not moving that point can you see that so all of these are moving but because that's the hinge we now have a static node which means we could use that to go up here like before although no 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 we can't connect to that we can't connect to that bit yeah so all we can do is that but then we can if we copy this to the other side so there we could then do a bridge straight across like that so if we go boosh and fill in that and then just truss all of this then we'll end up with a br oh, wait why is that breaking Oh, why are you breaking? All right, okay, we have a bridge. We oh, we did. <laughs> we had a bridge. So yeah, let me just let me just truss over there. So that should make these a bit stronger. I mean, there's a lot of force on the. It's, oh, I'm gonna have to make sure that node is like bang on. I don't entirely know how to do that without eyeballing it. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be hard. Okay, let's. We might need a steel muscle down here. I've turned the stress on as well, just so we can see where the stress is. Oh, that's looking all right. That's looking okay. Down there's looking very red. But for now, hun oh no, it got to 100%. What broke? You broke. That's fine. We'll just make you steel. Man, we are close to budget already. 65 grand. Like everything's almost at max stress. It's... <laughs> I'm intrigued to see other people's solutions to this one. But, oh, no, that's too low. That's too low. Well, that's definitely too low. Yes, yeah, so down there, that broke. So, again, we need to mirror the muscle. And then we just want to raise up the road on that side, I think. Yeah, that looks better. So, hopefully, that will make it to the end. Yes. Yes, 97. Oh, 97% stress, but we did it. <laughs> We're less than three grand short. I'm in I'm in the bottom half. I'm in the bottom half. I mean, surely I can save a few bobs somewhere, right? Just to get into the top half at least. So I feel like a lot of these could be wood. So the middle of all the muscles, definitely. And maybe that piece. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we're in the top half. We're 99th in the world. Let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest solutions. First legit solution. Oh, it is just a moving bridge. Oh, I should have stuck with that. I should have stuck with doing that. I tried to be clever and do static nodes. No, man, look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> we got some bending going on there. It even stops at that point. So when it comes back up, it just lands in the right place. Man, that must have taken ages to tweak. Oh, look, we've got one here that did static static joints. Same as... How did you do that for so cheap? 49 grand. They use a lot less steel down there. I don't know how theirs didn't break, though, because mine was not in a good place. Now, as we go through, there seems to be a good mixture of people that embraced the movement and those that didn't. Like this one. Is this all wood, nearly? Yeah, lots of lots of wooden muscles going on. Yeah. Oh, we got this person who just ignored that completely. They used the the edges down the bottom to build their own arch. Fair play, thinking outside the box. Oh, we've got this one. <laughs> they made a face. <laughs> it's like eyes and eyebrows and then a nose in the middle. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Yeah, we've got... 
How is this one going? Okay, it's, 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 I'm pretty sure that one's just architecture. Even I can't excuse that one. And then, oh, look, this guy did a bridge from like the ends. So he's similar to the arch that we saw underneath, but just going to the very ends. Now that one looks even more like a person, like with red hair. So the next level is a hop, skip and a jump. But if you want to see that, you're going to have to wait till next time because we are ending. Peace, love and bridges. Bye guys.